Welcome to Omegadon's Gaming. This is probably the fourth time I've tried to record this shit because I'm fucking sick. My throat is fucking sore. And this is how this is going to fucking go. So bear with me, folks. And from the other jackass that commented before that said, uh, maybe I should edit out all the bloopers. Well, then that wouldn't be real to me. Anyway, to carry on. Community uh, Community Crunch 396. Here we fucking go. Gantharaptor Spotlight Love Evolved and more. Let's uh, check out this chest duck, shall it? <clears throat> we are thrilled to see the excitement around the new custom cosmetic system, a simple framework. If you missed it, you can read about it on our first community bite. That must be something new they put out. I do apologize, folks. I uh, didn't see this until today, and I figured about everybody and their mother jumped on this as if something new, kind of like a day before community crunch. Fuck, I don't know. Probably the same bullshit you find in here um, just a day earlier. We are uh, expediting the services a day sooner. Anyway, remember Love of Vault, our Valentine's Day event, uh, starting on February 13th. Also, if you've missed Garuga's Let's Build stream, you can catch up on session one now. I'm not going to, I probably got the name right finally. I know I've butchered that fucker's name probably 30 fucking times in the last 10 videos I put out. So, I do apologize. Anyway, let's uh, move on, shall we? The Giganta Raptor Spotlight. Behold, the queen of helicopter parenting. A Giganta Raptor soon to grace the prehistoric landscape of the center. With a love larger than life, the majestic creature fiercely guards its brood while exuding elegance and danger with its colorful plumage and razor-sharp claws. Get ready to witness the awe-inspiring presence of the Giganta Raptor with the release of the center later this month. I don't know how everybody feels about this, Dino. Um, and, of course, my opinions are expressed by me alone. And I don't care if anybody else agrees or not. But it all comes down to... Uh, it looks like an overgrown fucking chicken with plumage on top of its head and part fucking peacock. Now, they may give it a great fucking, you know, thing to do, but I don't know. It, it is what it is. Um, I'm, you know, I'm wanted to, I'll try to tame it and shit. But to be fair to you, everybody, I have not been playing ARC lately. Um, I haven't been playing much of anything. I do apologize. I've not been keeping up with a lot of this because um, I have been ill of possible COVID and so like i've just been chilling i've been in bed a lot uh and actually laughably i've uh kind of went back to some old classics i've been playing offline the halo of my halo master chief series and the collection and to be fair it's actually felt good just to uh chill in the background not online or nothing and just play a game offline and just have fun with it a little bit. Going back to the old Halo classics. I am not much of a first person shooter. As far as competition. Like PvP. But I do love to play the storylines. On a lot of the first person shooters. And I've always loved the Halo storylines. Um, and if you agree with me there. You can leave some comments in the comment section on it. Anyway. Here we go. And there is the dossier. Um, I will bring up at large. I'm not reading at all because I've always found that it's really just getting down to just experimenting and figuring out what it does. I don't read the dossiers a lot. So, and that's, again, my personal opinion on it, and it is what it is. Uh, there's sure there's somebody more in depth, and, you know, those are kind of like the same jackasses that are saying, like, the gigantosaurus is not scientifically correct to the size of the Spino and so on and so forth. And you know, it's just a fucking game. Anyway, here we go down through here. There's the mod spotlight. I'm not watching this. Um, I've been seeing some shit about uh, the Steamboat Willie. I think it is for make the old Mickey Mouse one. It's free now. They put some sort of mod on. I've not messed with it. I don't think I'm going to add it to any of my servers because I don't need to see a black and white version of fucking mickey mouse on a dino or anything else that's <laughs> not my cup of tea anyway 
Let's carry on. Let's go down and see. Here we go at the Love Evolved event. Can you feel the love in the air? Love Evolved is set to sweep ARC survivors off their feet with an array of enchanting new treats and delights. This love-filled event celebrating Valentine's Day kicks off on Tuesday, February 13th, and will continue to spread the joy and affection until Tuesday, February 20th, 2024, in official servers. I'll also be running it on my Nitrado servers. For anybody else, like, off, kind of, I'd say off topic, but I've not been on official for a very long time. Uh, I've went to Nitrado when, the, oh, basically after the, uh, the um halloween of oh no, sorry thanksgiving event went off and we kicked into the christmas event and i didn't care for it a whole hell of a lot on the official servers um how's it running now i've already seen where they shut servers down official servers down because people were losing items and shit i warned you all and like rolling them back i warned everybody not to be gung-ho to try to transfer on the first day or two that they released fucking transfers y'all didn't learn this shit from arc survival vault you lose shit, you lose your character, you lose dinos. And for you that don't believe me, go back to my last two community crunches on this shit. Anyway, it starts on February 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Ends on February 20th, 24, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And basically, that would be like 1, <coughs> excuse me. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which make it about 6 o'clock uh, UK time, so on and so forth, evening. Anyway, the event creatures will be the Love Bugs. That's new. The V-Day Co Coel. Valentine's Fishing Rods. Love Bug Hearts. Festive Dino Candy. Boxo Chocolates now also will reduce the mating cooldown by 20% current time remaining because we all love the fact that everything goes from 12 to 48 fucking hours on being able to rebreed out anyway new event skins well not new someone the bear hug swimsuit the odd couple swimsuit the sauropod heart swimsuit cupid quit uh, cuter bottom skin cupid quater top skin whatever the fuck that is i'm sorry um i must not be that bright tonight Halo headband skin, heart shaped sunglasses skin, heart spring hat, cuddle wreck sweater, because you know we can't do without the fucking cuddle wreck. Bows in the arrow skin, heart shaped shield skin, teddy bear grenade skin, love shackle skin, heart spring hat skin, which is new. The cuddle wreck sweater is also new. Um, if we read up, it says cuddle wreck sweater in the event skins. It doesn't say new up there, but it says new down there because let's add that all again. I love some of the people who fucking type all this shit up. Anyway, the love bed is also new. For the event emotes, because I know there are some people out there. I have a few tribe members, one, two in particular, who live for this shit. Uh, will be the flirty emote, the heart emote, and the self-hug emote. I fully expect to see my buddy John, a.k.a. Deadshot, who has not let me down in years, to be running around with fucking angel wings or halo and some sort of fucking tutu because he loves the fucking events. Anyway, to the wild event creature colors, we have jade, pine green, spruce green, leaf green, dino light blue, wyvern blue, zero, powder blue, glacial, dark violet, dark lavender, medium lavender, lavender lavender, dino light red, dino light purple, light pink, magenta, deep pink, red, Dark Red, Dragon Fire, Dark Magenta, Dino Albino, <laughs> that sounds fucking cool, Near White, and Cream. And here's to go over the Garuga's Let's Build stream again. If anybody that's that fucking interested for the session two, February 17th, 10 a.m., 12 p.m. Pacific time. Blueprinting, setting up the actual characters' VPs. Session three is March, <laughs> March 2nd, 10 a.m., 12 p.m. Pacific Going live, getting the mod prep, testing issues, uploading, etc., 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 etc. You can watch us all on Garuga or Survive the Arc's Twitch channel. Bonus rates for the official network. Bonus rates for this weekend will be three times harvesting, taming, experience, and breeding. Holy fuck. Small tribes, 5.5 five, five times the harvesting, taming, experience, and five times the breeding. 
There we go. Archipocalypse will be six times the harvesting, taming, and experience in breeding. And if basically you didn't hear me the first fucking time, let's go down here below. They'll run this till Monday with the same shit that I just said up there. They love repeating themselves. Anyway, and I fucked the community corner because I'm not into that. And there is the fucking Steamboat Willie Ark shit that I do not want to go over. That's pretty much it for the community crunch. I know a lot of other people put a lot more effort into the content on all the little tidbits and shit. But you know what? I don't fucking care. Um, for the ones that stick around who follow me, they say follow me. And for me, I like to look at the shit that I'm interested in looking at on here. And a lot of us out there, don't get me wrong, there are people who love the, the little tidbits and everything and and that. But for me, like, I just want to get to the whole meat of the fucking, what everything's saying, what it's going to be, and then move on with my fucking life. But you have some other people out there that will sit there and ramble on about the fucking texture of the fucking Cupid's wings or some stupid shit like that. Just so they can fill up timer and filler for content so they can, you know, get much more long watch time hours and the ones that actually get paid for the ad revenue and all the other shit make a couple extra bucks but i'm not gonna do that here um for everybody out there that's been playing arc i noticed uh the trend that a lot of people playing arc are also playing a game called power world now i've personally not tried it yet now, i know it's free on the uh the xbox uh thing um yeah Game Pass. Thank you to my wife, who's like my rock. <laughs> She's like, as like my brain is fried tonight. I'm sorry, I'm so out of it. I've been so sick. Um, yeah, the Game Pass Ultimate. So, uh, the ones who have played it already, can you, you know, an idea? Do you like it? Do you not like it? And if you like it, you know, tell me why you like it. If you don't like it, please tell me in the comment section why you don't like it. Um, because I'd like to maybe mess around with it one day just to. Everybody's talking about it, and I kind of like to give it a whirl, and uh, maybe, and, but if it's like shit, I don't want to waste my time, but again, you don't need to like and subscribe to this channel, I appreciate everybody who has, and comments, but uh, that's not necessary, is I, uh, I'm not a content creator, and I don't even play one on fucking TV, so anyway, the intro and the outro for this are probably going to be shit because I basically had to rebuild my upstairs PC, which I'm on for fucking scratch and forgot to fucking save everything else. And uh, yeah, so a lot of my old shit's downstairs in my office on my actual streaming PC, but I'm too fucking lazy to go out, go outside and go down and go into this time of fucking night and go in on that computer to do this shit because yeah, I'm a lazy fuck right now because like I said, I feel like total fucking garbage. So, uh, it will be shit, but that's okay. Um, most of you are just here for the information anyway, not what the fucking pretty thumbnail looks like or the bastard fucking intro and outro looks like because Lord knows I go through a bunch of them. Anyway, with that being said, I hope everybody has a great what's left of this fucking night because it's late here. Uh, and have an awesome weekend and uh, happy arcing, I guess. Um, and I will catch you in the next video. Again, everybody, stay safe and later on.